Hey everyone, today we're going to be retrofitting a uh, Sport Chrono Clock and cover in my 991.2 Porsche Carrera T. I purchased it on eBay from uh, 991.2 Turbo S. If you follow my channel, you know that I did a similar, just more involved retrofit in my 981 Cayman S. And hopefully this will help you decide if this is something that you want to tackle. But before we start, make sure you disconnect the battery. It's located in the front. You pop the plastics, you disconnect the negative terminal, put a piece of towel in there so it doesn't get reconnected as you shake the car. And also put a piece of towel on the actual locking mechanism of the hood. And as I go along, I'm going to show you step by step all the parts and tools needed for the job. First, we need to remove this center speaker cover, which is held on six clips. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we just have to pry it up. So it's much easier if you pop it just with your fingers not using any tools, especially if you have a leather covered dash. And then you've got what I think is an alarm uh, connector here. You've got to disconnect it. So now that the cover is off, I know that this is just a tiny pinch with a screwdriver and it should pop off. There we go. So this we're gonna pop in the original one since the new one comes with this piece. And this is what the area looks like. Essentially, that's your speaker, that's your alarm light. We're gonna be snaking the wires from here to the back of the radio. To do that, we have to disassemble this piece. We have to take the sides out. We have to take the radio out and expose the back wires. And doing so is super easy. You start by prying the two sides away and they simply just pop out. And as you get to the front, what you wanna do is, it's easier if you open this up, you wanna move away a little bit and pull towards you. So move away and pull towards you because, see, it sits on these little pins here. And this exposes the one, two, three, four screws that, I, that are T25. So you go ahead and unscrew them. And before we slide the radio away, let's put a piece of towel here just so we don't scratch or damage anything. Uh, let's see, maybe it's better that this is... And it simply just slides out and there should be enough slack to get you to the back so this is it now we're going to be tapping to these wires from up top but we're going to be snaking it here and you can see there's a little hole you can i mean i can see light coming in so we're going to be snaking the wires from here to here and tapping into these cables i'm going to show you exactly which cables to tap into i kind of screwed up i thought i was recording but i never pressed the button so anyways i'm at my workbench now i've gotten my new sport chrono clock i also have this wiring cable that i purchased uh, this is the part number that you can barely see i'm going to pick i'm going to put it in the description but essentially this is a connector that connects to a 981 uh, came in. So the connector has one big piece on one side and splits into that Y connector on both sides. We're only interested in this tiny one because this tiny one, the square looking one, connects to the back of the Sport Chrono. So we want to separate the Y and this was actually taped up so I undid the tape. So you want to remove the Y and you're only interested in, uh, in this cable here. You're not interested in the rest of the cables. So by the main junction, you can either cut them with a knife or you can unpin them. In my case, it's gonna be easiest to simply cut them. So now that the two cables are separated, you discard this one, you don't need this. You take this one and this one, you see you've got these different cables. You've got a red, orange, orange, brown, orange, purple, and then brown. So essentially you're tapping into the same cable colors in the back of the radio. I'm gonna show you how to do it. But before you can do it, I have to extend these cables because these cables are not long enough to reach. In my case, I use this 18 gauge cable that, that I used in my Cayman, so I know it works. I've got plenty of it. So I'm gonna make four equal length cables and I'm gonna extend them uh, using uh, uh, wiring taps or maybe just, uh, just a soldering iron. So I extended each cable and I purposely didn't show how I connected it because there are many methods. You can use a shrink wrap, you can solder it. Uh, so I'm not gonna start a, a soldering or connecting a battle here, but essentially 
each cable here, see, so this is the connector. So I extended each cable and uh, since it's the same color, I labeled each cable at the very end, almost at the very end. So this is, for example, orange brown. So orange brown is this one, orange brown. So thanks to that, I can easily match the cables behind the radio. Before we get to the back of the radio, these are the taps that, that I highly, highly recommend to tap into the cables behind the radio. So now in the back of the stereo, you can see that the same cables that we have on the actual cable are running here. So you've got the solid brown. Now, the one on our connector is brown white. In our case, you're gonna use just the solid brown. Then you've got the red orange, which is this one right next to it. You've got the orange purple and you've got the orange brown right over here. So all the cables are easily accessible right here. Okay, so we're gonna do one because it's very tight in there, so it's gonna be very finicky for me uh, to get the camera and show you all the ones, but essentially brown, red, orange, this one and that one. So we're gonna start with the brown one first. So you take a tap that's as close to the gauge of the cable as you, uh, as you have. See, you slide it in, then you take this end and you essentially screw it on top. And as you screw, the little pin will, will wedge itself into the cable and now you are tapped then when you're ready to snake the cables in you unscrew this piece connect it here tighten it and you should be good to go so this is the finished product with the tapping you see brown brown uh orange purple here and then orange brown here i just didn't have enough room to do it here but you can do it anywhere along the line next we should be able to snake the cable and i want to see if i can do it from the bottom uh maybe that's easier if i can just because i see there's a bit of a light there look i can always stick a screwdriver here we're going to tape the cables to the screwdriver and then lift it up there you go so that's one way of snaking it. We are now ready to tap. I'm gonna show you an example on one. So this is one of my labeled wires. This is brown white. And remember, brown white goes to brown. Everything else is the same colors, except brown white goes to brown. So you see this tap, you unscrew the back, put the back onto this wire here, and then simply put the wire in the back, make sure it touches the metal piece and screw it in as you screw it in it will create a solid connection check this out you can't remove it and you're good to go repeat the same process for the remaining three wires everything is connected see all the cables are tapped i'm going to clean it up so it looks pretty uh, we can start connecting the top section uh, before we put everything back together. Everything, we, everything you see, we have to reconnect the battery to see if everything works. Fingers crossed, everything works, and uh, and we should be good to go. Let's connect the back first. Okay, sport chrono is clipped. Everything is clipped. Now we can reconnect the battery and hold our breath. <laughs> All right, I missed the big deal but i see that the spark chrono clock has already reset itself so what happens when you put the key in check this out <laughs> it automatically switches to 12 o'clock because this is what the time uh that's showing here uh, but check this out if we adjust the clock 10, 26 when i adjust it see the clock adjusts itself to 1026. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a liftoff, and obviously we're gonna do the date at a, at a later time. Now, before I forget, you have to reset the windows uh, after you reconnect the battery. So to do it, you hold the switch all the way up. When it reaches all the way up, release and push it up again. And the same thing, when it goes down, press it, press it, press it release and press it again there we go okay so i cleaned up the wiring slid the radio back in i'm gonna replace all the screws now and we can start putting everything back together and we're gonna pop this bad boy last and last but not least we're going to reattach this top section so it's simple as aligning it and pressing there we go 
you gotta give it some muscle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Check this out. Sport Chrono Clock has been installed, first and foremost, without even double checking that it works. I know it works, but without double checking that it works, look how cool this looks. And I like how it matches all the yellow. Doing yellow gauges would be a bit, bit too much. So having that sort of pop of yellow in there is an amazing touch. And it's, it seems like a perfect match with the actual racing yellow. That's pretty amazing. Anyways, let's turn, turn the ignition. Let's see what happens to the clock. You ready? <laughs> oh man. That is so cool. Now, I haven't played with this yet, but I don't know if there's gonna be additional uh, options. Okay, so we do have Chrono. Huh, look at that. So the start watch option appeared. So check this out. The stopwatch works. Look at this. Holy moly. That is crazy. As soon as I connected the Sport Chrono to the back of the of the thing, everything works. Uh, so yeah, so this is it. Let's stop it. Look what happens when I select stop. It stops, and when I hit reset... <laughs> Holy moly, this works! I can't believe this works. So anyways, I hope this video was somewhat helpful if this is something that, that you want to tackle yourself. Uh, knowing what I know now, the difficulty I would say is maybe 4 out of 10. It's not difficult at all. The, the most difficult thing is disassembling everything and, 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 and making sure you tap into the, the right wires. Make sure you do that, by the way, and make sure you get the, the tappers. At the very least, get the taps that I, uh, that I use. These are absolutely amazing, and, uh, and you cannot mess them up. So I'm going to link everything I used down in the description uh, for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And this is just the beginning of my journey with this lovely, absolutely lovely uh, 991.2 Carrera T. Truly, truly in love. So thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.